foundation, I'm going to be mixing Revlon Skin Lights Face Illuminator and Too Faced Born This Way Foundation together, and this will give it an extra glow. So now we're going to start with our highlighting and contouring. Right now I'm taking the Becca Low Light uh, Sculpting Perfector and I'm using my Real Techniques Contour Brush and I'm just going to buff that into the skin with circular motion. So now for highlighting, I'm using L'Oreal True Match Foundation in C1 Alabaster, and I'm using the Rub Techniques Pointed Foundation Brush for this. Now I'm going to take my trusty Beauty Blender in the MAC Fix Plus, and we're just going to blend this all out. Now I'm just going to set my face with a loose powder. So now we're going to prime the eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And so now I'm going to set the under eyes with loose powder so if any fallout gets under the eyes, we can just brush it off easily. So for this look, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Vice 2 palette and I'm going to be using Smoke Out, which is just a matte black. And so we're going to lay down some tape first so we can get a good wing. And I'm going to start off by drawing a wing with the smoke out color and I'm just laying it all down right now and then we're going to blend it out later. Now I'm taking Rewind from the same palette and I'm using this as a transition shade to blend out the smoke out color. So now I'm going to take MAC Fix Plus and use it on a small crease brush and I'm taking Strike from the Vice 2 palette again and I'm using this on the inner corner. Now, the reason I'm using Fix Plus with this eyeshadow is to give it more of an intense color. Now I'm taking the gold foil. I got my gold foil just from a bottle I had laying around the house. So now this process, I'm not going to lie, is very time consuming. Uh, you're going to use eyelash glue and put it on your lid and you're just going to carefully place each piece. Now for brows, I'm just going to use a spoolie on the back of my brow pencil and I'm just going to brush the hairs up and then I'm just going to fill them in.
Now I'm just adding my final pieces of foil to my eyes. Um, I wanted to do a wing shape with this and I wanted to do a strong inner corner. So that's why I'm applying foil also to the inner corner along with the gold shadow. And also I thought it would be really cool to bring the foil up above the brows so I can give it more of a dramatic look. Now I'm going to take my favorite eyeshadow ever, which is Dusty Rose from the Anastasia Artist Palette, and I'm using this as another transition shade for the smoky eye. Now I'm taking Bobbi Brown Black Liner and I'm just going to line the eyes with this. Now I'm taking Strike from the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette again, which is the gold shadow. And I'm taking this under the brow bone and I'm also going to take this above the brows to blend in with the gold foil. Now I'm going to warm up my skin with the Too Faced Sun Bunny Bronzer and this is going to give the skin a nice bronzy glow. Now we're going to prep lashes with black mascara. I typically always do mascara before lashes because I feel like it really helps blend everything together. Now I'm taking my lashes, which, which are these just cheap ass Ardell 614s, um, and I'm just going to put these on my eyes. Now we're going to do lips. I'm using a mixture of NYX Wrath, which is a bronzy metallic shade, and I'm also going to use Mischievous, which is a metallic gold color. Now I'm taking my Real Techniques Detailer Brush, and I'm just going to use this to clean up any messy lines. Now we're going to do highlights. This is my favorite part ever. I'm using Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector and Champagne Pop, which I adore. So I'm gonna use this, and this is gonna basically pull the whole entire look together. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button, leave a like below, a comment maybe, and make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I will have a new video next week, so stay tuned.